back. We have here with us Mike Van Landingham from here in Marion. And Mike has this beautiful 1938 Chevrolet pickup that he's graciously brought out here to show us. I'd like you to go over the uh, truck with us. I know you've worked real hard on it. Uh, can you tell me how you got interested in uh, antique and classic and custom vehicles? And uh, how did this truck get to be like it is today? Well, uh, I bought it for a dollar bill back in 1982. And uh, one thing led to another. We got a paint job on it and uh, just nickel and dimed everything together until it come out looking like this. Now, how did you get a truck like this for a dollar bill? <laughs> you must have known somebody, huh? I bought it off my uncle, really. and. Uh, just wanted me to have it, I guess, you know, for a dollar. So. Uh, has he seen it like it is now? Oh, yeah. He, he, he said he'd give me my dollar back. So is this the original paint job, or you have a second paint scheme on it? No, this is the second, second time it's been done. My son redone it for me. And there's kind of a sad story that goes with that, that uh, he had uh, leukemia. And he went in the hospital the day after we got the truck done. Is that right? Was he, uh, when he started the truck, uh, were you aware? Was he sick at that time? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh -huh. he, uh, but he worked on it for nine months, and the day before he went in the hospital, he got the truck done. Phil, he never recovered from the hospital. How old was he, uh, Mike? 23. Uh, what's the engine like? The motor's original. It's a 216 six-cylinder. Uh, I've changed the exhaust. It's got dual exhaust on it, and we've chromed the, the head pans and the fan blade and things like that, you know, taken off and re-chromed and put back on there. But other than that, it's original transmission, rear end, motor. Mike, uh, I know uh, you've got some type of device or a kit that uh, it'll blow fire out the back. Can you tell us how that works? And I know you're going to demonstrate demonstrate it for us in a little bit. Yeah, uh, I've got spark plugs in the top of the, each one of the tailpipes with old Model T coils that uh, I turn on, and when you pull the choke out. Uh, that ignites the black smoke that usually comes out there and turns to fire. Who do we have with us here? Mike Van Landingham. And Mike, how are you involved in all this today? I, I try to help put it on. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot, of, a lot of the viewers out here watching today see you at a lot of these car shows, oh, yeah. I imagine. We try to make all of them, but you can't make them all. Why do you volunteer for this? Is, uh, do you have a love for, for the cars or, and planes, or do you just have a love to volunteer for organizations like this? Just for organizations like this. I love to help kids. I'm helping park cars. Okay. and. Uh, We'll try to get them all down through the hangars here. We've already got one row full. We're ahead of Ray. We've got more cars than planes right at the moment. Oh, so you guys have a contest going Yeah, kind here? of a battle between the cars <laughs> and the aircraft. Very good.